Welcome to Connect to Florida. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Southwest Florida and the real estate market. The hard truth of the summer of 2023 real estate market in Southwest Florida. And we're also going to talk about is now a good time for you to buy or is now the worst time for you to buy. And I'm also going to explain to you my opinion of why one way or the other. So if this is the first time we're meeting, I want to say hello. My name is Barrett Pastor, and I've been a real estate broker for about 25 years. So hopefully I'm coming to you from a place of knowledge and experience, and I can be a resource for you here in our area. So let's jump right into this because I really want to deal with what is factual. And you know, I'm going to tell you, honestly, my mind even has changed on this. If you would have asked me the same question or asked me to analyze things as it relates to the real estate market in 2023, six months ago, I had a different opinion than what I have now. But that is very, very normal in Southwest Florida. I'm going to tell you that honestly. Even our appraisers don't go back more than four months on an appraisal if they can avoid it because that's how quickly our market can change. The coastal market and in particular Southwest Florida coastal market, which I'm talking about from Bradenton to Naples, that market is ever-changing, but there are some things in that market that are very, very consistent. So we're going to jump into all of that. So first and foremost, you may have seen this, you may not have, but there's been a lot of data come out recently naming what different entities that study trends in real estate have determined are going to be the markets in Southwest Florida that take the hardest hit, meaning the basement's going to fall out. Even though we all know there's no basements in Florida, it's going to fall out. The sky is going to fall on some of these markets. That's what we're being told. So let me tell you the markets that are being predicted to have the most impact. So basically, it is Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Sarasota, Northport, and then that sort of Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte area. Those are the areas that... Many of the experts, if we call them experts, are saying that they're trending towards a heavily hit downturn in the market. Now, if you know this area, you know there's a lot of places in between there. So you might say, okay, well, but what about Naples and Bonita Springs and Estero and Venice and Inglewood and Nicomas Beach? Because there's all those little in-betweens. Are those not going to get hit? So here is my short answer to that. They're going to be affected. But this is what you need to know. The reason that they're saying that those other areas, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, Sarasota, and the other ones I named, the reason that they're saying those are going to be hit the hardest is because they had the biggest inflated value than the other areas. So if you look at like Naples as a whole, Bonita Springs maybe as a whole, you've got a Estero in the middle of there, Venice. Those did trend up. Naples is, is very affluent anyway. The prices are really high in Naples anyway. So there wasn't quite as much jump to take. You know, I use this as an example fairly often. There is a very popular bundled golf community in Bonita Springs called Bonita National. Bonita National literally took a $75,000 jump Overnight, it was literally in a week or two, we saw a $75,000 jump. And all it takes is a market where there's high demand. So a lot of people wanted to golf. So back in the day when golfing was just about blocked out everywhere, private golfing, equity golfing, and you just couldn't golf anywhere in that, you know, sort of um, from Fort Myers South, there just was nothing. It didn't matter if you were willing to pay a $200,000 downstroke, you were not golfing because everything was blocked out. It was just too popular at the time. So what was happening was that people with bundled golf in their unit, they were selling their unit way inflated because they knew how badly people wanted the golf. Well, what has now happened is that those numbers, it's like a balloon is burst and the air is out of that and they are rapidly falling. And that's in Bonita Springs, which is a market that was not named. So what I would say to you, what's important to know is that you work with an agent that knows the area, but not just the area as a whole, but each community and can tell you, eh, you want to stay out of this one and this is why, 
or this is the benefit to buying in this one and this is why. So in between those crashing sort of markets, there are pockets where you're going to see sustainability and there are pockets where you're going to see the bottom fall out there as well. So here's what I would say to you now in answer to the question that I posed at the beginning of the video. Is now a great time to buy or is it really not? So here's what I would say. If you're a seller, now is the time to sell. It's a really good time to sell because people are still kind of saying, eh, you know what, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to hang on. I'm going to buy in Naples and that's always strong. I'm going to buy on CS to Key. That's always strong. We're still in that teetering, like it's a balance right now, like a seesaw. You still can get a very strong number. If your neighborhood peaked at, let's just say 700,000, if your neighborhood peaked there, then you're now going to see maybe 600,000, six and a quarter. But prior to that, was your neighborhood seeing 450 and 500? Yes. And there is a lot of that going on. So will you get that peak, peak, topped out number that we were getting at the time of COVID? No. But will you get a very, very strong number now? The answer is absolutely yes. Even in those markets that are being predicted to kind of come down. So if the market's going to crash a bit, and I hate using the word crash, but if it's definitely going to deflate at a rapid pace, we're at the very beginning of that. So it's a good time that if you thought, hey, you know what, I'm, I was thinking about selling in the next couple of years, do it now. That's what I would tell you. So there's one. But the second component of, of that is, is it a good time to buy now? Well, if you're a seller, it's probably not a good time for you to buy. Along the lines of what I'm telling you, you would want to sit tight if you can. So if you're in a second home position, sit tight. Let the market you're targeting. So if you're moving out of Nokomis Beach and you want to move over to Siesta Key, watch that market. Take your top dollar at Nokomis Beach and watch the market at Siesta Key. As it starts falling, Again, be in touch with a good real estate agent that's going to keep their eye on the market for you. Then you grab something there. Now, if you have a primary home, that's going to be a different story because you really, you can't do that. You know, you have to have somewhere to live. So, but generally speaking, primary home markets aren't doing that, especially in Naples, especially like even Lakewood Ranch. That's very, very strong still. But those are generally speaking primary home markets, not so much Naples, but pockets of Naples. So is it a good time to sell? The answer is absolutely yes. Is it a good time to buy? If you get that motivated buyer that kind of bought into the, the quick panic and they're like, you know what, I just, I want to get rid of it now. I don't want to see it fall too fast. And they're going to give you a great buy. Maybe they have their two bedroom, two bath condo on the market for 450000 You throw three fifty dollars at it and they take it. That is happening now a lot more often than it was before. So there's that opportunity, or like I said, you can just wait it out and let it start to deflate a bit and target those markets that we talked about. Don't forget about the little pockets in between where you might find some softness and motivation and go for what you've been looking for. So as always, if I can help, all of my contact information is linked below. Happy to take a phone call with you. Send me an email if that's easier. You can also text and we will get to work helping you find the right situation that works for you.